Hey everybody, Coach Ben here at Lift Arise Fitness. Uh, today I just wanted to jump on and talk to you about the cheat meal and the psychology behind it. Is the words cheat meal actually setting you up for success or is it setting you up for failure? Um, a lot of the time and a lot of the science behind it is that it is that word and that phrase, cheat meal, um, is setting you up for disaster. It's setting you up to uh, with an unhealthy relationship to food in the beginning. Um, what it says right away is that your nutrition plan is bad and that you have to cheat on it. Your relationship to it is not good and you have to treat cheat on it. It's also saying that there are good and bad foods. It's like thinking that there's an angel and a devil that, you know, everybody's seen that before. Where there's an angel on the shoulder and a devil on the other shoulder and one's telling you the bad thing and the other one's telling you the good thing. And it's like that angel is sitting there eating broccoli and being miserable. Well, that angel is sitting there loving life, having ice cream, cake, and burgers, and doing all that kind of stuff. What I'm talking about is if your nutrition feels bad to you, so bad that you need to cheat on it, you're setting yourself up to have a really poor relationship with food. You're setting yourself up to have a relationship with food that is based on not being able to have, <clears throat> not having, not fulfilling, not satisfying. All right, you're setting yourself up for what's called binge behavior. You're setting yourself up to do that stuff. And typically what happens there when people have their cheat meal is that it turns into one, goes from one meal to having an entire day or a couple of days and the effort, I'll just get back onto it on Monday. And before long, you've actually just, you've had a whole weekend of eating not so great stuff for your body, things that aren't balanced or healthy or nutritious in that sense, whole and a lot of processed foods and all of those kinds of things. And basically that you've set yourself up to not be on track with the results that you should be getting from your nutrition plan on a day to day. So it's also saying that there's only, there's good, there's no good or bad food. There's food that is processed and whole food. Okay. There's some really delicious food that are out there. There's food like products that are delicious. I am by one of them. There's ice cream. That's one of my big ones. I love that stuff. But I make sure that I have those things as a regular part of my nutrition plan so that I don't go bananas. I don't feel terrible. I feel like my nutrition plan is on point. It's hitting all the key nutrients that I need. It's also specific for my body type so that I'm getting enough of what I need for my specific body type on a daily basis. And that is the one thing that you should be thinking about or could be thinking about is, is my nutrition plan bad or good? Is it something that I don't like? Is it something that I like? Or is it something that I don't like? Is it something that I don't like so much that I feel the need to cheat on it? Is it something so much, is it so restrictive in a sense that I feel the need to binge on all of my favorite things and go crazy and I can't shut it off? If that's the case, then you need to have a serious look at your nutrition plan. Is it the right one for you? Is what you're doing correct for your body type? Is it giving you all the nutrition that you need? Okay. Is the word cheat meal setting you up for success or failure? In my mind, if you're feeling that way and that's the language that you're using, you're setting yourself up for binge type behavior. Binge type behavior is only gonna lead you down one road. Quit, not on your plan, and leaving you without the results that you want and the results that you deserve. So if that is the case, we need to take a look at that language and we need to take a serious look at the nutrition plan. All right, a serious look at the nutrition plan. What are some adjustments? What are some things that we could put in there that are gonna make you feel full, happy, and satiated all the time? What is it that is gonna make that nutrition plan something that you can do or see yourself doing and envision doing for a lifetime? All right, that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about today. Be careful with that language, pay attention to it. If you need help or have any questions about that stuff, comment below and we will talk soon. All right, take care, bye-bye.